So I was in here checking on my new little babies. I'll show you those in a second. And I heard a strange noise coming from the window in the barn. I don't know if you can see, but I got a little moo cow friend there. Oh, friend. Who's been licking the window? And Rex. Hi, Rex. Rex is our little stray adoptee. Hi, friend. But yeah, there's a cow out there that's just decided licking the window is the coolest thing in the world. Of course, not doing it now. Why would they? But if we we'll come over here, past the sea of cats, hello cats, you can see that I was naughty. And I went to Tractor Supply. And I got me some of those. <laughs> I said I wouldn't do it. I said I wasn't going to go. But I did. And I got a dozen black sex links. Those are the same black chickens I have now. These are all pullets. So I'll have myself a dozen lovely ladies, hopefully here this summer, to lay eggs for me. Um, they've got this big... This is the kennel that I used last summer for the chicks that I had. Um... They're still little bitty though, and a little scared to come out here where the food and the water is, and it's still a little on the chilly side, even though they're in the barn. So, I made this kind of this little safe place in an old, it was an old dog kennel of Coco's. Uh, that was the Chihuahua I used to have. And I just took the top half off, and I put some bedding and stuff in there, and they've got a little bit of food and water and a heat lamp, and... So while they're little bitty and it's still kind of chilly out, they've got a safe place to be where it's warm and they've got the things they need. And then as they get more comfortable and more used to us and it gets warmer out and spring finally starts to freaking show up, they've got all this room to play and grow. I've got a couple of perches. There's one that I took off there that they can use. I'll put it back on when they're a little bigger. And then... Um, last year we had, and we just fenced in a little yard area for the chicks until they were big enough to be on their own. And that's what I'll do with these guys. I will move this outside. It's got a top on it so it protects them from the rain. Uh, and I've been putting one of the sticks way up top here so that they can kind of hide in there when it's rainy and windy and stuff in the summer. But this will be their little chicken coop until they're big enough to... Join the big ones, which I don't know where the hell the big ones went. Hello! All I got is kittens. One kitten. Two kittens sitting on top of the pig's food. Rex over there. You can hear that cow outside that door. <laughs> Rubbing its head on the door now. I don't know where the other cat went. But yeah, they've been sticking their paws in looking at these guys. So they're in here. They've got chicken wire around the bottom. That's kept the cats out so far, even though they're super interested. The big chickens don't care all that much. Wavy don't care. Wavy's happy in her own little... Hi, Weavers! Hi, Wavy! How wow! In your little spot that we gotta clean out, we gotta get a nice warm day so I can get all the pig poop pulled out of here and new bedding put in and I gotta find a couple more heat lamps and get you a nice little spot to have babies in huh? Are you gonna give me a little bit of baby piglets? Yeah? Little baby piglets? Oh there's the other cat. Hello! Hello friend! Hello friend! Hello friend! They're everywhere. And there's some of the, the big ones in the rooster. My red those are Buff Orpingtons. I've got a big old white leghorn um, rooster. And that black one there was one of my adult black sex links that I got as a chick from Tractor Supply last year. As you can see, they pooped all over the things here where they roost. Anyway, so that's the excitement. I promised I wouldn't do it. Hi, Rex. I promised I wouldn't go to Tractor Supply and buy more babies, but I don't listen to myself very well. And here they are. 